<laughs> oh my god. Lol. My camera is being a little weird today. So... <laughs> Um, there might be like cuts and stuff. I don't know. I'm a little worried because it keeps like freezing on like different Images of me, so that's hilarious um, But hi everyone We are just doing a super casual I guess knitting stream Today I don't really have much planned, but We will just be chilling that is okay with everyone. Um, Rebecca, hi from Denmark. Hi, another Rebecca from Denmark, love. Maybe Rebecca's just like a common name. V, Hannah, SV, hello. Greetings from Germany, love. Carly, hi, Yasmin, hi. Natip, hi, just came to say hello. About to go into work for my part-time job. Get that coin. Savannah, hi. SB, hi. Uh, Catriona, hi from the Scottish Highland. I don't know where that is at all, but cool. Uh, Shannon Harris, hi. I'm doing the decreases on the arms of the Agni right now. They look fire. Stop being so fast. I like have been making the limp vest because I it was a part of the test knit that I applied for. Oh my gosh, test knits are so much work i don't know how any of you guys do test it's like having to finish that it was so stressful um but so fun so i'm really happy i finished it and i can't wait to show you guys but i it means that i didn't have a lot of time to knit the egg neat i'm kind of like everywhere at this point so we're just gonna be happy we even can knit um i think john brady hi f yeah hi hello from the netherlands sarah working on the ring of my egg neat oh my gosh I'm jelly. I'm so jelly. Um, good evening from Sweden. Yes, love Sweden. Still need to go there. What's taking me so long? <laughs> um, hello, knitting on my Sunday sweater right now. How's the anchor been? Yes, so it is exactly how it has always been. Yeah, like if you guys saw the last time I showed it, it looks exactly the same. So I just want to finish it because I just finished the Olymp vest. I think that's how you pronounce it. I just finished it. And you know, when you're in that limbo of not really knowing what to do, like obviously I could just continue knitting the Agni, but then like, what am I going to do on Thursdays, you know? Um, so I was like, you know what, let's work on something else. And I just finished the Sunday tea, so. Oh my God, it's frozen. What is happening? Can you still hear me is the question. Weird. Okay, yeah, okay, so something's wrong with my camera. So that's like lovely. So we're just gonna have to deal with that. I think it must be the connection so it's been happening like every couple minutes so that's gonna be fun i'm just gonna have to look at myself the whole time i don't know what it is what is wrong okay let me just let me just try to move everything around it's fine you can just like listen to my voice when it happens and then just like imagine i'm moving um okay where was i Hi, I'm traveling for work this week, so it's just us in a dinky little hotel room. I mean, as long as you can knit, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, yes, can't wait to see the vest. Yeah, I, I had to put it outside. Um, I have it on like a blocking mat and then I put it outside because I really want it to block really fast. Like it's so damp, like I blocked it yesterday. And I really did try to like wring out as much as water as possible, but honestly it wasn't enough. So. She's going to be outside for the whole of today because it's really sunny outside and I'm really hoping it does wonders and then I can wear it because I have just have a couple buttons I want to put on it and then I want to like take cute pictures and send it to her. So excited about that. Hi, I crochet but here for the vibes. You can crochet with us. We love. 
Uh, test knitting gives me that good, good adrenaline. <laughs> uh, I'm knitting the Teddy Bonnet. Bonnet? Bonnet. How could that? I'd be so wrong. Uh, it's the cutest. I don't know how that looks like, but it sounds really great. Have you made the Anna's cardigan? My size. Brumpity knit? I haven't. I don't know what that looks like. I'm trying to think about it, and I don't think I have. I haven't knit a lot of her really, really old patterns. I feel like Petite Knit has, like, three stages. It's, like, when she first began, and then there's, like, that around the novice cardigan mohair, and then everything after uh, the champagne cardi and, like, Marseille sweater. Um, currently knitting on a baby blanket for my college roommate. Your college roommate needs a baby blanket. <laughs> Love. Um, I still, oh my gosh, I posted on my Instagram story that I wanted to make a baby thing and everyone was like, risk it all, do it. Um, I think it'd be really funny. But I kind of do want to do it, so who knows. Uh, I'm done with the first sleeve decrease of the Agni cardigan, but the sleeve is too short. In my experience, how much does, oh, in my experience, sorry. My experience. <laughs> how much does brioche grow lengthwise? Quite a bit. Um, but I know Petite Knit said in the pattern that if you, um, if you, no, I'm pretty sure, like, if you read the pattern a little bit more, okay, that it says to keep knitting on even after doing the decreases. Does that, like, you do, like, the set of, like, eight or whatever, and then you can knit as long as you want. I'm pretty sure that's what it says in the pattern. Um... Hi, I'm working on a Monday sweater with Noro Viola in Kurashiki. The lilac val lavender. I was going to say valander. What does that mean? Um, that sounds great. I wish I remember what color that was, but it's not the viola I have. Celebrating a newfound love for the Noro, but mourning for my wallet. Same. I feel that exact, like, same issue. It's devastating. Um... But you get really cute anything with it. Um, <laughs> we graduated in 2019. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, lol. I, I thought you meant like college roommate now. But that's so cute. Um, it's an eyelet hole detail cardigan. I've not made it. No. If I don't recall it, I don't know it. But we can look at it now. I also wanted to talk, Witter Design just came out with her book, and I wanted to talk about that. And I also wanted to talk about, if you are from Canada, I don't know if this is available in the U.S. either, but the 52 Weeks of Easy Socks, no, the 52 Weeks of Easy Knits is on sale on Amazon. It was $36, and it's down to $28. If anyone is interested, go, go, go. I was tempted to just get it. You know for the reviews and stuff so let me know if i should review it for you all um let's look at women cardigans and then yeah i wanted to talk about witter design came out with her book as well um and wanted to know what everyone's thoughts was because i thought 35 bucks because it's available on amazon was a good deal for 30 patterns but I would like y'all opinions, please. Oh, is it this one? Oh, that's what I thought it was. I have not made it. I think this part is just kind of too long. And I really like a baggy. I'm not a... Un oh, but I like this one. She's kind of cute. Okay, stop. We're not going to make another one. We're not going to... Stop. Patina, stop. Okay? I'm not going to make that. <laughs> um... Knitting the Stockholm soda with Filicolana. Our Weta and Tilia. First time using Filicolana and I'm in love. I'm so sorry your wallet is going to be crying, but I also love Phil Colonna, so I can't even, can't even hate on it. Knitting two socks at once, never done it on the same needles before, and I'm obsessed. I, for some reason, can't get into it. I love the feeling of just knitting one sock, but maybe that's, maybe I'm just being a little lazy butt. Mmm... Hello, hello, just joined from the UK. Here's the rubbing of the body on my Marseille sweater. Onto the sleeves. Are you doing stripes? I kind of want, like, I wore my Marseille sweater to the Fibers West um, kind of festival thing. And, it like, I put it on and I hadn't worn it in a really long time. And it made me want 
to make another one because I was like, ooh, I was like, look at, I was like, look at these decreases. Like, look how good it looks, but I can't get myself to do it yet, yet. Um, currently working on a blue Elizabeth blouse using Sunday and Issy Your mohair. Such a good combo. Oh my gosh. I just bought my cashmere for the Elizabeth blouse and I'm really excited for it to come. If I like the bases, I might like offer it in my shop because it's from my wholesale supplier. Um, because it's, it seems like really cool, like a cool idea. And I don't know how I feel about like having to dye cashmere. So like having cashmere that's just like all dyed and beautiful i would love to offer because it's also like 50 percent recycled cashmere which is so cool so if we love the yarn we'll do it because i bought i think i bought three colors because i think i'm gonna make the poppy tea when it comes out oh kill me i did not want to make another thing but it's so adorable uh but i bought black because i want to make a black one because i think a black t-shirt like a tight fitted black tee would look so good on me uh, because I've kind of been on the lookout for one. So I think that would be such a classic. Like I like I was like, I don't want to buy something crazy for cashmere. Like I want like some basics that I think I'll just keep forever. So hopefully the Elizabeth Boss will do that for me as well. And then I do really want to make the rig more tea. I don't know. We're on a, we're on a struggle bus. That's where we are. Um... I did not read the pattern from the anchor to you right. I ended up increasing way too much and had to frog back 20 rows crying for being so stupid. Me though. So I totally get it. Um, totally get it. I've done that like so many times. Mm, just finished my first sweater. Do you have any recommendations on what to knit with cotton? I have way too much lying around. Uh, depending on the thickness, if it's like fingering weight or DK weight. Um... There's some really good tops out there. Um, you can make lots of t-shirts. You can make shorts. I would suggest boring knits, but gosh, dang it. Um, but she used like a merino cotton, I think. Uh, for full cotton, definitely look up like shirts. I, again, hate to say petite knit, but if you have lots of fingering weight cotton, highly suggest like a good cumulus tee, cumulus top. You got the June top just pure classics um just bought some noro that is cashmere and wool blend is it the hanui is it good i kind of want to have it in the shop but i'm like i don't know all the boring knits are on her other brand on ravelry awesome okay that is wonderful so i'm gonna recommend that because I really want to make the biker pant and the biker short. So hopefully I can get on that soon. Um, I also like Loki would like to ask advice on like what to bring to Europe to knit and how many things I should bring. Um, because there's going to be a lot of train rides and I don't know if like one sweater quantity is enough to bring to knit there. Let me know. Let me know. Um, yes, I'm doing stripes on the Mars side. Love the look of them. Oh. Oh, you're bringing me back to like knitting that one and it was so good. Knitting the Moby Slipover Baby. Oh, is it so cute and small? Uh, the second half of this button band is destroying me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I love button bands. It's like really scary how much I love doing them, especially the double knit way. Okay, I will now knit. Will I? Let's hope so. Okay, there you go. So this is, I showed you this already. <laughs> I was thinking of doing the um, sleeves first because I always get that nice little high of finishing a sleeve, but I don't know. We have like nine centimeters of the body. We should probably just get to it. And I'm not playing yarn chicken at the moment, so. I'm headed to the airport in a few hours and my travel knitting is just going to be a crap load of DRK everyday socks. Oh, should I just bring socks then? I should just bring socks. <laughs> I don't know. Um, speaking of summer knits and Nora, I really want to knit a tank and Nora Kakigori in Naha, but it sold out legit everywhere. Dude, I have, whatchamacallit, um, I'm on the wait list for, for the Nora Kakigori 
and it I bought it such a long time ago and I still haven't like received it so uh, I feel that pain I want to have it in my shop like forever but it is not available to me and I don't know if I should order more just in case I don't know like I bought like so much of the Omitama, the Noro Silk Garden Sock Solo, and I'm like always afraid I'm gonna order too much and like I'm gonna have like an excess and like not enough people are gonna want it. But then that one time I bought it, it sold out within like an hour. So I was like, shit, maybe I gotta buy more. But then I don't wanna like buy too much. I don't know. The dilemma I faced. Oh, okay, it's Miyabi, 65 wool, 35 cashmere. Oh, gosh. You lucky, lucky lady. Um, my fam just booked an Alaskan cruise for August. Isn't that so funny? I swear to goodness gracious, last stream I was talking about an Alaska cruise. <laughs> Need a good recommendation for a great warm sweater to make for the trip. I live in a super hot climate, so I'm excited for an excuse to make this. Hmm... I guess it depends on like what you want, but I also want you to make something that's, you know, like something you could probably wear back where you are, or this is like a one-time fit. I don't know. Um, a nice warm, oh, maybe you should make a marble sweater. That would be like the chonkiest goodness, the best thing. I still need to make it because Patina just posted a, like her wearing her, like her brown white mixed one. I want it. I want it so bad, but I'm trying to get, like, I need to get, like, the exact colors. And that's what's struggling me. What yarn are you using for your anchor tea? This is my linen silk base. Um, the plan is to sell some bear yarn in the future. Um, just don't know the, like, the need and the demand. Um, and then I don't know, like, the pros and cons of selling bear yarn. Like, I don't know, because, like, a lot of hand-dyed or, like, indie dyers don't really sell their bear yarn. Um, so, I don't know if it's, like, a good strat. But also, like, I feel like I sell different yarns, right? Like, I sell Noro, I sell Sunnisgarn. So, I feel like it makes sense to. Sorry, today's just going to be a ramble. I'm just going to be talking to myself, rambling. Hope that is okay with everyone. Currently frogging a sweater I made for my boyfriend because I accidentally made increases the whole time. Trying not to cry. I mean, like halfway, like there won't be, like is where you, I'm assuming you increase. So you only have to frog half of it. So it's not the worst thing in the entire world. I believe in you. Um, currently working on the 10 out of 16 increases on first leaf of my Elizabeth blouse. So excited to try it on soon. <gasps> stop i the fomo i get from everyone just being like i'm doing the elizabeth last it's amazing <laughs> i mean just being like it was my fault i didn't order the yarn fast enough but i'm so excited for you and i cannot wait to feel that joy <laughs> um has anyone done a crocheted crocheted on button band like a cardi Ooh, six i'm nervous about it um i'm trying to think of how it went okay i think you'll be fine i think it'll look really amazing because it's probably really like i'm assuming you're just like slipping on the back side like slip stitch on the back side um if you know how to crochet it should be fine and it's really fun to knit up or crochet up uh, i think you'll be strunen amiss and i don't know what more i can say um What's your favorite thing you've knitted so far? I love, everyone always asks me. And usually, like, the answer never really changes. Currently, I mean, my, I think my number run has to be the ter terrazzo, terrazzo sweater. I love that one to pieces. Knitting that up was amazing. The colors, amazing. I loved that one. I'm like, I literally think about, like, selling it and then, like, knitting it up again. You know, because I can't have two of the same color because that would be ridiculous. Um, but that's how much I loved it. And that's how sad that I am that, like, the love... Like, the, there's no love... Like, I have so much love for it. There's nowhere for the love to go. <laughs> um, 
just finished my marble sweater yesterday the softest fluffiest sweater plus it's so fast ended up yes that is why i want to do it and that's why i want to do the sunday chunky because it's quite big but then i'm like tiffany do i just like make my own do i just like make my own chunky sweater pattern please sorry i'm speaking like redonk um what color did you order for the elizabeth boss okay don't hurt me i ordered a light gray <laughs> But then I'm like second guessing it. So I think either I, I ordered three colors. I ordered black, light gray, and like a brown. Um, because I had plans to do like the poppy tea and then maybe the the rigmore tea and then I want to do the gray. But like if I don't like the gray, then I'll just sell the gray on the shop and then have to buy again. I don't know, we'll see. Um I it's cause like I don't know, I was like telling myself tiffany like you gotta get those basic colors cashmere i gotta be safe you know so and oh sorry did i touch the sorry uh i i saw this girl on the elizabeth bus tags and she made a gray one and i thought it was amazing i didn't want to do a dark color like black because i think it would like the fold would like my hair would hide the fold because it would be all black uh, so i was like gotta do something light but i don't want something cream um and then i was like is brown like do i match things with brown so i was like you know what tiffany just do gray it's fine we'll just we'll just be consistent in my gray era uh working on this oh but then there's like oh and then i was like should i do a navy like no tiffany because it's so similar to my like oslo sweater oh i don't know it's just a true dilemma uh but i did it because i knew i couldn't wait any longer i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see uh working on a sweater for my friend's toddler whilst i wait for my first new for olive order to arrive so i can make the weekend slip over i'm so excited about it o m g I'm so excited for you, girl. Oh my god. You were going to fall in love with knitting for all of Did you buy mohair? Did you? Because oh my goodness. Um I I followed my ivory room because they're from she just opened a store. This is totally unrelated, but kind of related. It's because I was thinking about mohair. Okay, anyway. She if you're I guess in the London area, she opened a new shop, like a yarn shop, and she has some mayo or Mejo, Mejo yarn. And I'd really want to go there, but it's kind of like off the beaten path in London, but I would love to try it. And I would love to tell you guys whether I think it's comparable to Knitting for Olive. Because it's rather, I think it's like cheaper. Um, Did you see the gameplay they released for the second Breath of the Wild? I did, that's so funny. I don't know, I don't know what YouTube knew about me but they knew I was looking at Breath of the Wild stuff. Sorry, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. I was like looking at like, I don't know, I've just been watching a lot of um, Zelda videos because I'm redonkulous these days. Also, uh, totally random, but I, de I defeated a divine beast. I literally thought I was never gonna do it. Um, sorry, for you guys who don't know anything about Zelda, there are four beasts you have to defeat, like really big boys. Who used to be good boys but then they became bad boys so then you're like okay i gotta like gotta hurt you so that you can become a good boy again um and i yeah i didn't think i was gonna defeat one and we did and i was like whoa tiffany am i good at these games like stop um but yeah i, I watched the gameplay looks really um cool like the different powers i'm kind of concerned like do i not have my old powers anymore and then like what about all my other clothes like i'm my plan is to buy all the armor sets and like upgrade them so it's like if in the new game i don't get them like they're all gone it's like my hard work over so i am curious how they're going to i don't know because i really enjoyed the fact that you could like explore and find the towers and like find maps and stuff but if the map is already there you're just adding the sky stuff. It's like, what can I do? I don't know. I do want it though. It kind of makes me want to, kind of want to, kind of want to buy it, but I'm having not even close to finishing the first one. Just pre-ordered the second one. 
tell me about it and tell me if it's good please and thank you uh the chorizo i feel keeps making the sock solo and omitama sell out so quick oh 100 percent 100 percent 100 110 percent um omitama is just too good it's too amazing same with the naha ka kakigori amazing Noramadara, amazing. I think I'm gonna sell out of that too. I should probably buy more. Um, Mr. Bobbin on YouTube made a brown and white marble sweater like petite knits. Okay. Yeah, I know um, Alexandra. She, she, uh, what's gonna call it? Ooh, there's a big hole here. I don't love that. I get rid of that hole. Hmm. Hmm. There's an itty bitty decrease here. You see that? I don't know what that is. We gotta go backwards. Um, Amanda, hi. The Elizabeth blouse would look beautiful in light gray. At least your whole wardrobe will match. I know. It better. I don't know. My whole, I gotta like really reevaluate my sweater making because I feel like I just keep making the same things, but I don't. I don't know. I'm confused. Everybody, everyone just know I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. See, does anyone see that? It, like two became one. Uh, and if I did this wrong, I'm gonna. Oh, there you go. Okay, fix it up. Please. Okay, lovely. Um, oh, only if you care about the pronunciation of the rigmorti, ignore the G. Remor. The remorti? Interesting. Okay, thank you. I definitely didn't like saying rigmore, so that's hilarious. Come on. What? Okay, sorry. I thought I dropped two. Um, I did my mohair. I'm so excited for it to arrive. Oh, bless. Bless up. <laughs> I do really. Like, when I want to treat myself, I'll buy some knitting for all of Hi, so I got my CNET needles, just one size to try out. I'm knitting a little scarf my, and my bank account is lost. I think I will order a set. That's the issue, I know. Like you buy one or two and you're like, oh shoot, this is amazing. And you're like, okay, gotta do it. Um, Remore? Remore. Remore? I'm so sorry. Okay, is there a cow for Elizabeth Plus? I really want to knit it. There isn't. I love that you guys just want me to knit cows for everything. The, just instantly the funniest thing. I have I haven't even finished the egg meat. Y'all want me to do like the chestnut dress, um, the Elizabeth blouse, everything. Was wondering, did you do the body shaping on your Oslo sweater? I think I did. I did. It's like every couple centimeters you gotta decrease a little. Um, I did do it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you made Madara and Sake sell out quick, but like, I feel like, I don't know, like, I just thought it was like such a dupe for the cardigan number eight. I don't think I did anything like special. Um, still waiting for my wool warehouse stuff to pattern the April into a Prada cardigan. Love. All my summer knits are going to be made of either knitting for all of cotton merino or silk. Bougie. But also I found that the merino cotton is quite nice. Like, um, cause it's like slightly cheaper than all the other yarns. Um, just wish there was more of a color range. They don't have as much of a color range as the merino, which sucks. Um, Remore is girl name. 
and it said differently depending on where you are from, but all of Denmark agreed to ditch the G, okay. It means directly translated rich mom. And that's a girl name? Oh my gosh. I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, tar hive. <laughs> Me just like frantically knitting. I'm just drawing. I need to get this done. I need to get it done. I don't know why, but like the dream is, is to, I want to buy dungarees or overalls because I think like they would look so good with my Sunday tea. I think I saw one person do it and I was like, time to get a dungaree, you know? Um, but yeah, I just want to look cute in these t-shirts. I want to have cute t-shirts ready. It's not fair. I need to catch up. But at the same time, I'm like, Tiffany, like I'm only ever going to make the anchor tea like or like the Sunday tea once, you know, we kind of have to enjoy the moment. But at the same time, it's like, I kind of want to wear these kind of want to wear these now. Um, how far from done are you? I need nine centimeters and then I'll do the body ribbing and then you see that. So like kind of close, like this would probably go over my belly. So if I wanted a crop top, it would be fine. And I know I can finish this by, I actually don't know when the first day of spring is, but whatever that day is, I could probably finish this. I say with great hesitancy. Um, but since I'm free of the test knit, um, hopefully I can knit it. But then I applied for another test knit. I think I have to decline that one because I really want to just do my own stuff. We need to, oh, we passed the first day of, of spring. Okay, then at least the first day of summer, okay? <laughs> also, how is it spring already? Are you kidding me? It's so cold. Um, hey, I just started knitting and can you do a video on beginner yarn combos? I guess I don't know what that means. Like, like just like how many you should hold in your hand. Cause like my only other yarn com combo is like a fingering and a mohair. And I don't really know if that's really beginner. I got until June, bless. Okay. Okay, we can do it. I honestly really like knitting like three millimeters. They really got me there. Literally just ordered the yarn for my anchor. So excited. Oh, love. Hopefully we'll be twinning this summer. <laughs> uh, hi to the stream. Hi. Also, I think for your trip, maybe bring two small projects and one big one in case you get bored. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm thinking definitely at least one sweater, one like super basic sweater that doesn't require a lot of thinking, but is also like relatively lightweight and then maybe I could like wear it there. Um, and then, yeah, I'll have to find maybe a sock. I think a sock pattern would be fun. And then, I don't know, a hat maybe. Um, I feel like boucle is so popular right now. Um, I mean, yes. Oh my goodness. Did I show you guys? Okay. I'm not done. I haven't done the zipper yet, but isn't she adorable? She's adorable. And then I sewed, I sewed this guy. I haven't put it in yet, but I sewed it. And isn't she adorable? Sorry, my voice. I have to show you the final. This is the final of the little, my little cute little, little pouch. I think the little, the little tag was the way to go. We got the zipper in, bam, oh my God. I'm so in love, uh, boucle is so fun. I never wanna stop and it's time to shine. And I love, sorry, I keep saying I love all the time, but the, the plan is just to be able to fit this in here. And then the plan is to make a pattern for the two of them together as like a little set. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Because it was so easy to knit. Um, I'm once again working on the wedding cardigan. Uh, I've got a dress fitting tomorrow, so I'm trying to get it as far as possible to try the cardigan on with it. Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so, I'm so happy for you. Um, girl, there's some normal on sale at Knitting Loft. I saw. Not in love with the colors, though, so I'll probably have to pass. Was tempted by the moray. But I can't do it. Can't do it. Should I make sweater number 21? Can you give me a brief description of what it looks like? Thank you, thank you. Um, I mean, <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> I literally bought it, then called in to cancel because I have to hold true to saving. Oh no, that sucks. Oh my gosh. Saving for our trip, wink wink. Thank you. Finishing the first leaf of the Elizabeth blouse, I feel I'm gonna love it. Oh, stop it. They look so good, they look professional. Oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, going to Budapest with friends soon, can't decide whether to knit a simple striped sweater or a cabled one during the trip. Me, feel that all the time. I feel like stripes might be a bit of a hassle, but then I also think cables are gonna be a hassle because it's like, what happens if you lose your little hook? Then you're like, you know what I mean? Um, you just split your yarn. Did I? Where? Where did I split it? <laughs> yes, you know it. Um, it got a lot of holes, like the look at my whole sweater. Oh, wait. Uh, got a lot of holes. Got a lot of holes. Is that the one I made? It has to be the one I made, right? Uh, the answer is yes. I need to wear that one. It's very good. Uh, very fun. Was it fun? It was fun, because it's really fast, if that's what you're talking about, yes. Um... And it's like, mine's really baggy. I'm kind of afraid to wash it. The black one you made, okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's hard, okay? My favorite things that wear, like, just make them into names now. Uh, I'm also kind of worried, like, once I run out of, like, sweater. Like, I can't say typical sweater. Like, how many typical sweaters can we have? So I'm going to have to find a new name. But, but then it's like, what what, what would I do? Um, has anyone tried woolly knit for apply British wool? Can it be considered a DK weight if I held it with mohair? Yes. Uh, I have not tried it before, but th that would work. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's a fingering weight. Bliss sweater. Yeah, I was gonna say sweater bliss. Uh, but then after that, if I if I uh, if I run out of those two words, then it's like, then what? Um, typical nickname collection. <laughs> yeah, I'll just have to say like typical bliss. <laughs> the not so typical. Oh, I like that. We be. The typical jumper, <laughs> typical long sleeve, typical v-neck long sleeve. You know, we'll just we'll just get real confusing, real convoluted up in here. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll have to. I'll have to make like little collections. So you know how like Petite Knit has like the Friday collections and like all the Fridays are all like the same. The atypical sweater, love it. Gucci can't do it. We cannot. Typical blouse. I just starting like multiple. I'll just say. Uh, two T's, like typical. That would be hilarious. Anyone know a good merino alpaca blend? <sighs> Fingering weight yarn. I was gonna say flora, but I don't know if it's merino. Is it my favorite? No, but it is a great cheap alternative, and I really like mixing it with other stuff, but alone, not so great. Um, I don't know any other yarns, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I would try the woolly knit. It's just the shipping is ridiculous, so I don't think I ever will. Unless I move there. Should I? Or should I? Should I ship me some when I get to London? That'd be hilarious as well. Um, 
so we'll see we'll see what i'm feeling but i definitely don't need any more cones maybe order to your hotel but that's what i was thinking about doing with isier so you know I can't, that's too that's too many is my final answer um because i really want to buy mayo yarn mayo 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 i don't know and then um, someone told me that Beautiful Knitters, I think, holds some Sislerigit. That is also not allowed for my wallet. Because uh, Sislerigit is like 40, 50 bucks per skein. Like, damn, son. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Ooh, alpaca too. Oh, that's that's a really luxe. If you like really want to be hella bouge, I would recommend that though. Cause I have an alpaca too and it's very nice. Alpaca one, amazing. Oh yeah, how do you pronounce it? Mayo, but I'm not a hundred percent. The colors are so gorgeous. I know that's why I want to buy it. I wasn't gonna buy it because of the shipping. Um, so if I could get it at a store, that'd be cool. The woolly knit yarns bloom a lot when you wash it. The cones have the spinning oil on it. Yeah, that's usually what it is for most cones. Uh, which cone is your favorite? Um, I'm assuming in ge your meaning in general. I've only really tried Holst and then some Color Mart cones, but I feel like Color Mart is not necessarily like a brand in itself. Color Mart is really just like, I think they just take like the end of the rolls. Of a lot of um, yarn places so it's like probably from a lot of different places so like you can't really compare the quality of stuff because it's like confusing because it's like different you know what anyway um but i do like their cones but i don't know if like the quality is consistent for each of them yeah my ivory room that is the one they just opened and i really want to try it out um was tempted to get alpaca two or three. It's my name, <laughs> the Mayo yarn. Um, should I buy some Debbie Bliss Fine Donegal? I'm really loving this sulfur colorway. Uh, I don't know how they look like, uh, but it sounds cool. Is she like a hand indie dyer? Because yes. Uh, yeah, I made it. If knitting swatches of some sunscreen I haven't tried yet. Loving pure Gant. oh my gosh. I ordered some Pure Gint and Tim Pure Gint, as well as Tin Silk Mohair uh, to add to the collection of Sun is Garn, and I'm so excited. Um, I need to restock on the Double Sunday. I feel like so many people bought up my Double Sunday, so we have to like get more colors and probably to just like normal, to just the basic ones I have, because I'm kind of running out of those too, but it's hard. It's hard to know what to buy. I'm very bad at like knowing how much people want. Mm. Late for today's stream, no worries. It's only 40 minutes in because I was helping out my nephew today while my sister is at an Ed Sheeran concert. Oh, that's so funny. I always forget like after you have kids, you can like still kind of go out. Um, cannot get over how fast you knit, oh my gosh. Thank you. It's not like I think I'm only really fast because this is stockinette and this is fingering white yarn. Like I only have to pick up one thing. Uh, I went to the opening party of my Ivy Room. All the yarns were so gorgeous. My dream, my literal dream. It's so cute in there too. I am like it looks quite not small, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of yarn on display. Like it feels very minimalistic from the pictures I've seen. So I'm hoping it has like everything I want. <laughs> I saw a cardigan on Instagram and fell in love with the yarn. It's your Aaron Tweed. Oh, confetti. I have been looking for uh, the confetti, this your confetti for so long. Cannot find one that's in stock anywhere. No, yeah, I can't find it anywhere in France. Yeah, it's literally nowhere. Can't find it. Oh, sorry, I should be more on this side currently crocheting a lacy cardigan i love the look of cardigans made with crochet thread but crocheting takes so long 
but crocheting is faster than knitting. <laughs> Uh, working up some pure gint I thrifted. Okay, well, that is a dream. I would never be able to find a pure gint. Like, thrifting. Are you kidding me? Um, speaking of concerts, I got tickets for Twice. So hyped. Oh my gosh, my friend's going to Twice. That's hilarious. He invited me and I was like, I don't have money. <laughs> I was like, I just spent the equivalent of that like on yarn. I'm sorry. But he's going, I'm excited for him because he loves twice. Um, also, I asked Chat about the Perfect Navy a couple lives ago. Double Sunday Sailor in the Dark is the sexiest so far. I love. Um, but I also really enjoy the Navy for All of uh, Merino. I think you could probably get the one in Navy and it'll be similar. But yes, Sailor in the, Sailor in the Dark is so subtle. I feel you. Um, Debbie, Debbie Bliss yarn is pretty good. I thrifted some of their merino and it was so nice to knit with. Okay, so Debbie Bliss is not an indie dyer. She sounds like she, she's got a full line. Uh, Wool & Co. I think has, is your tweed in confetti. Get it. Get it, girl. Um, I need to save up for the Issa yurt that I plan to buy in, um, in London, England. Uh, and hopefully other places. Uh, the amount of yarn that crochet uses breaks my soul every time. Yeah. That's why I can never justify uh, making a crochet piece that ha like requires a lot of like natural fibers. Like it really hurts my soul. Like even just doing the crochet crush book, like I have to make sure it's like yarn that I'm like for sure never gonna knit anything with. Uh, because just the thought of it going into something and like not i don't know just so much of it going into a piece um you really gotta you really gotta think about it um i can't stop i can't stop me but twice by twice it's still my jam when it comes on <laughs> honestly i was really into moonlight sunrise when it came out and i was like okay well this is just obviously like they're trying to it just sounded exactly like if you guys have heard Sweetest Pie by um, Megan Thee Stallion and Dua Lipa. And I love that song. And I was like, oh, that's how they got me. That's how they got me. Uh, they were literally 300, but I'm going alone because my one friend who'd be down is out of the country that weekend. Are they going to Toronto? Because my friend has to go to Seattle. Like he, he got to drive, have a whole like thing. Uh, I'm in London lovely um i also got tickets for twice it was so messed to get them but we did it <laughs> yeah it sounds really difficult so i'm glad you guys were able to get it um i made semper sweater and pure gint confetti and it's so pretty but so scratchy i've heard a lot of like mixed opinions on pure gint uh, on it being like scratchy and people like not really being happy with it. I mean, again, I don't think it's supposed to like, it's not supposed to be the exact thing as like the Sunday or the double Sunday. So, um, I think it's understandable that it might be a little bit itchy because I think it's slightly more rustic. Um, but that sucks. Definitely like wear something under it if you can't, uh, like if you don't like it, like that feeling just like because it's a sweater so you can definitely wear like a long sleeve or something i need to invest in some long sleeves uh muji please help me out i never knew crochet used so much more yarn it's all like i would say almost like two times as much it's ridiculous uh i feel so out of touch because i've never heard of twice oh it, it's just k-pop just like one of the most popular K-pop groups. <laughs> um, but that's fine. If you're like, it's very, is it niche? Would you say K-pop is niche now? I feel like it's very mainstream. <laughs> I got a ticket for the LA show, damn. They're coming to Toronto for two days, but Seattle's probably cheaper to get to from BC. Oh yeah, for sure. There's no way my friend was gonna go to Toronto for that show. 
Uh, Bethany, I think, said, this is your mohair kind of sucks, too. I think she did say that. I think she said it pills or something. Um, I'm still going to use it and love it because it's so soft. Love my Louvre sweater and pure gint. I mean, it's not a merino, but it's a fine rustic wool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. It's definitely not a merino. Um, it's basically already summer where I live, but I'm dreaming of knitting an alpaca jumper. I mean... I'm basically still knitting sweaters right now, so there's nothing wrong with doing that. But also, it's so cold here, guys. It's so cold. But then it's like sunny, so it's like hot. I hate when this happens, but it's also my favorite time of year. <laughs> um, so it's really confusing, but it's like beautiful, you know? Oh, and then when it gets to like the summertime, it's so pretty. But then what am I gonna wear? I don't know. That's why this needs to be done. How is it like knitting with linen yarn? I want to try Isidore Trio one or two or maybe tin lin, tin line. Um, it just feels like soft rope. <laughs> so this is a linen silk that I'm using right now. Um, obviously not as soft as a just like a basic merino or alpaca or wool, but it's not like anything that's the worst i have heard someone told me that they didn't like using the the pure silk by knitting for olive because it just felt really funny uh so maybe be a little bit mindful if you don't like it i definitely go for cotton cotton is a lot safer as like feeling wise um but yeah i'm really excited i really want to make the breeze bag i'm basic i know i really want to make the breeze bag by petite knit no, no one can stop me it's beautiful um i crocheted a cardigan way back and used up 1400 grams of acrylic yarn that's okay so i would say it's like maybe like 1.5 times more versus two times more because it usually takes me like a like a hundred gram no a thousand grams to make maybe like a dk weight something so 14 grams i mean 1400 it's like the same <laughs> um conning my family into taking me to a yarn store this weekend for my birthday love <laughs> not sure if anyone has mentioned this on the stream before but wool and company offers a year and it's free shipping in the u.s no minimum they also have sunscarn and noro just to name a few lovely for you u.s people <laughs> um go check that out um I will have to check if it's free in Canada because I would hop on that train. It was minus 15 this morning and plus one right now. That is so cold. 22 degrees Celsius. Kind of hot. Yeah. Um, 72 is normal. Generally not winter weather, but it's technically spring. Okay. Figure out the button band. Lovely. Is your silk linen blend stretchy? Like, would it work for Cami 5, which is quite fitted? Let's see. Is she, I mean, yeah, she, she does stretch. She does stretch. <laughs> I think it worked perfectly. I think this is a great substitute for, like, um, it's just, like, the equivalent of, like, the linen silk. No, sorry. The pure silk from Knitting for Olive. Um, so do, do with that information what you will. Um... LA is warm 70 right now, but it's supposed to be raining tomorrow again. Yeah, I heard it's raining a lot in LA. It's quite sad. I'm going there in July, so hopefully it's just like the most scorching heat you've ever felt. Uh, I saw a video of someone doing the math, and she said it wasn't much of a difference in amount of yarn for crochet and knit, but it's hard to believe. <laughs> You're like questioning her. You're like, are you sure? <laughs> Ah, Will & Co. has 10 bucks shipping to Canada for over 150 Thank you for letting me know, Abby. Oh my god, so sweet. You did not have to look that up for me. Um, yeah, no. I mean, like, I could get Isir from, like, knit the Knitting Loft, or there's a couple of stores here in Vancouver that also hold it, so. I just want it cheap, and I want to get it from Europe. So... I think, it, I think, ugh. but then, because I always say it's really nice to buy things in specific places because then you kind of, I was going to say force, you kind of 
create a memory of that item in that place. So, say like, like an event, like the Fiber West yarn I got, I'll always think of that time I went there. Or like if I bought yarn, like when I bought yarn in like the island or I bought yarn, where else did I buy yarn? In San Francisco. I'm always going to think, oh, this yarn I got from San Francisco. What a, what a memorable time. And I'll think of all the happy things. So that's why I'm thinking like I'm saving, <laughs> I'm saving up all my money so I can buy all this yarn um in those places omg we've had so much rain in north carolina i hope the other night a storm decided to take out our whole street's internet it was a miracle i'm here right now oh my gosh thank you for being here please be safe it's so so scary um but yeah the weather has been like not chill it's like not okay <laughs> Uh, do I have a favorite online yarn store for Canada? I mean, Yarn Canada is pretty good. They do free, sh free shipping over 75. Uh, have I bought anything from there? No, but it seems cool. Um, other than that, I love shopping at local yarn stores when I can. Uh, there isn't like a really big one place i do love wool warehouse but that's not canadian but it's great for canada but then i've also heard it's not so it's hard mm. the, the weather has been all over the place in la sweet 44 degree celsius where i live that seems really cold that must be like negative 10 no i don't know fahrenheit Really wish Knitting for Olive was more accessible in the U.S. I can't find a good reasonable for my budget dupe for cotton rain or silk anywhere. Uh, I highly suggest getting it from their store. They do worldwide shipping and I find that it's very uh, affordable. But then they also have a lot of like local yarn stores hold them as well. And it's not the cheapest thing, but it's definitely buyable. Uh... Knitting for All really needs a North American retailer. I mean, me. <laughs> but no, I feel like there's so many, at least um, at least here in Canada, there's a lot of local yarn stores that hold uh, Knitting for All of. But yeah, if you guys want Knitting for All of, maybe I should get some. Uh, what is a non-petite knit garment that you get the most wear out of? I would say my patterns. I wear quite a lot of my slipovers. Um, oh, my cardigan number eight. I wear that thing like so much. Uh, it's been storming here in Georgia as well. Mm, be safe, be safe, please. Be cozy in your knits and stay at home. <laughs> Just knit all the time. Yarn Canada delivers next day in Alberta. Yeah, because I think it's like close there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, a dream. Knitting with pure silk from Knitting for Olive and I really like it. I'm really glad that you like it. Because <laughs> I also really like it. I'm, I'm really glad that, because I was going to get a dupe for the Cumulus blouse. No, the Cumulus tee. But then I was like, you know what, Tiffany? Let's just get the, the pure silk and treat myself. Uh, and it's my favorite t-shirt. Um... Wool Warehouse Marino on sale. Yeah. Oh, PSA, PSA. Uh, Wool Warehouse, I think they still have it. They have a lots, they have lots of drops on sale. It's like 30% off for a couple of their bigger, like the Aran weight Merino stuff. I think it's like Drops Alaska, Charisma. Like they're Merino fine, maybe. So if you're feeling it, go for it. But yeah, there's also other stuff on sale. Um, Unit Knitting for Olive is a really good selection too. Yep, Def Scat Knitting for Olive. The issue is just like, there's just so many colors and I just don't know. I guess it's the same with Sinus Garn though. It's like, why do I have Sinus Garn when, when everyone sells Sinus Garn? Yeah, maybe I'll slowly get Knitting for Olive. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, again, there's just so many colors. Um, what's your favorite undyed yarn? 
Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, natural yarns? Like, natural fibers that are undyed? Or do you just mean, like, yarn that would typically be dyed? Like, indie dyed? And then just, like, that? I mean, I like mine. I hope my whole sailor is great. Um, 44 degrees Celsius is six. Sorry, sorry. 44 Fahrenheit is six Celsius. Okay. So that's around what we're at. I think if I could find my phone, I think it's around that. It is 11 degrees. Sorry. I hit my hit my printer um not bad not bad so you, you're definitely colder wherever you are they don't promote their sales anymore though for wool warehouse um yeah i find that you have to really you have to know when it's happening so i always check the website um in seattle it's 60 still breezy Nice. 23 Fahrenheit in Idaho? That seems very cold. Um, I'm working on the moonset tea and I'm desperate need of strength. The body is taking forever to net. I hope, I hope I'm giving you enough strength because I'm also, I'm also struggling with this body. Let's struggle together. Uh, I'm finally on the button band on my champagne cardi. The end is in sight. Oh, you're going to have to push through. If this is like your first button band, push through. But I love doing the button band. It's so fun. Just seeing it all come together is my fave. Um, I've been working on my cami five since August. <laughs> Finally figured out the double knitting and almost cried. First garment knit. Damn. Again, you guys are so ambitious. Like, I could not fathom making the cami number five not having made anything in my life uh like brand sell on dyed yarn and ecotone sometimes oh okay um ecotones i think what you're saying is like yarn that just hasn't been dyed like straight from the sheep kind of thing i do really like um Oh, I wish I knew which ones were dyed and which ones were undyed is the issue. Uh, the only one I know that's undyed is the Ecolana uh, from We Are Knitters, but do what you will with that information. Um, I do really enjoy buying um, uh, roving, roving from yarns, from yarns, from um, farms, is that right? Um, because it feels like it's straight from the sheep and I love that. Um, so I, like, if you're into spinning, I would recommend that because then you can get really, like, undyed yarn. Uh, I love small bird fibers for that. Oh, I really like, um, uh, this is probably not good because I don't know how uh, accessible they are to get, but I love Kensington Prairie Farm. They're a local farm here in... I guess like the greater Vancouver area. I'm like so, I'm so tempted to like email them and being like, hey, like can I hold some of your yarn in my shop? Because I love their yarn. I bought so much during the Fiber West and um, I just think it'd be really nice to hold more Canadian specific brands in the shop that maybe you can't get, I guess, in other places in the world. Um, because I want to do that with Briggs and Little too. Like, I need to find more um, Canadian brands or farms to buy from. Uh, it's snowed here on Sunday. It's mostly melted now. First button fan indeed, but I've actually been loving it because it goes by fairly fast. Love. I've been trying to find a good yarn for the June top. My original saffron idea might not work, but Hobby had mercerized cotton lace. It's comparable. To name for all of. Yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, the snow resorts here in California said they're going to have to... S they're going to have to snow? They're going to snow till July? Oh, they have to snow the snow resort. I see. Well, that's a lot of work. Um...
West Yorkshire Spinners Jacob's Fleece is a lovely undyed yarn. Love. Oh, I'm trying to think of other undyed yarn. I'm so not helpful. I'm so sorry. Because, like, I want to suggest things that look natural, but I can't tell you for sure if they've not been dyed. Um... I started knitting with socks and it definitely takes a few pairs to feel comfy with it. Oh. <laughs> uh, West, okay, yeah, everyone loves West Yorkshire Spinners. Simply Will Worsted, oh, I love Simply Will Worsted. Oh my gosh, and Simply Will Aran, or Aran, Aran, uh, from Knit Picks. Oh my gosh, how could I forget about you? My favorite yarn. Oh, thank you, I will only, I will just recommend that. I will just recommend that anytime someone asks me for something natural. Um, I just noticed the music in the background. I really like it. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what did you, what did you love so much about it? Oh, the Kens are you talking about the Kensington Fiber Pair, Pair, Kensington Fiber Yarns? What do I like so much about it? It's so soft. It's just to die for. I... I knitted the tabby gloves with the alpaca nylon and it is so nice. I went and I bought, I don't want to give up too much because I want to make a video about it. Um, and oh, I was just feeling them the other day and it's so nice. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I, oh, I bought some, there was some alpaca with some silk in it. It was so good. God, I cannot get enough of it. Um, cause they also sell, oh my gosh, they sold the baby alpaca and I bought some and it was so good. I wanted to buy more, but I couldn't. <laughs> Please, Tiffany, I should just have it in the shop cause I want you guys to feel how amazing it is. Um, who is going to a snow resort in California? True. Probably Californians. <laughs> Uh, Richardsaria Rosa Palmer has undyed yarn. I've not tried, but it's gorgeous. Okay. Or oh, do you mean hand dyed? Wait. Oh, sorry. They have hand dyed yarn. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, there's um lots of stores that hold, I think, Richardsaria in Europe. So I'm really excited to find that. Um, random question. What is the difference between tubular and Italian? Uh, is it just the double knitting set of rows? Yes, that is literally it. There's, I get so many questions. It's just like, nobody knows. But that's like the same, like when you, when you hear Italian cast on or tubular cast on, tubular cast on just has two double knitting rows uh, before you, you know, knit normally. No worries, I'm knitting with Simply Will Worsted right now, so I remembered. <laughs> True, true, true. I meant undyed. Retrosari is natural undyed yarn. Okay. Thank you, thank you. No worries at all. Um, I want to get into dyeing my own yarn so bad, but I'm so worried about heat setting. I don't want the whole oven or whole house to smell like vinegar. Um, it won't. You, you don't actually add that much vinegar um, or like acid into the pot. Uh, just make sure that your fan's on all the time. Uh, I would worry more just about the drying process. It's quite smelly. <laughs> and yeah, just make sure to be safe when working with your dyes if you're using powder. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to dye up the Mononoke Bliss collection soon and then hopefully getting the February and March um, Patreon sock yarns also. Um, yeah, I just had to order some more yarn and I always dread it because it always takes so long. Everything just takes so long. I, I want to get it out like as fast as possible, but it's so difficult. I cry. Thank you for, thank you for all the, the patience as always. Um, Use citric acid instead of vinegar. Vinegar, yeah. That can also be done. Um, so update us on the baby knit inspo. 
I literally saw one picture of this random baby in like this onesie thing. And then I was like, I should make that. I don't think Petunia has anything like that. Um, it's just like the idea I have is to do, uh, I guess, kind of like think the teddy pants, right? The teddy onesie, the onesie, the teddy pants. Think that. Think one by one ribbing and think instead of the pant, it would be a short. I don't know. I just thought that would be so cute or like a basic just slipover. I don't know why I haven't seen anyone have like just a basic slipover for a baby. I don't know. I don't know. It might be like the dumbest thing uh, and like no one would want that. I keep trying to figure out whether it's convenient or strategic. Like you'd have to put like button bands like kind of right here or around the side of the body because like how are you going to fit that over a baby? So. I don't know I just thought it would be really cute for just like maybe summertime yeah I was just thinking shorts I don't know it just really hit me uh but again I'm too scared to make it <laughs> my brain can't comprehend how double knitting doesn't just make the same effect as ribbing but it's probably a me problem uh it's because you're slipping the stitch so you're kind of um only making it so the yarn is in the front in the back in the front in the back you're kind of like sk skipping i don't know i really can't explain it right now i don't have anything double knitting with me um if i've made the zipper sweater and alpaca and mohair do i need the zipper sweater light i'm thinking it'll serve a different vibe but i mean has anyone made both definitely haven't made both but i do think people have done it um i just haven't because they just seem like two similar patterns that i can't justify having two of them uh, i don't know i think if you think if you think you'll wear it like why not like maybe your zipper sweater is too heavy for like the lighter season so you want a light one i get it do it my friend is pregnant but lives in texas so i want to knit but not sure what would be in environmentally appropriate ah i mean you could ask you could definitely ask uh i don't know how hot it is in Te texas i was gonna say tejas <laughs> um but yes if i were to make this slip over it would be totally fine um i'm in tears that'd be so cute the shorts okay <laughs> stop do not tempt me Thinking of getting Carl's cardigan because I want to try smock, but I don't want to suffer through the Jenny. I don't know if it's the same smock pattern. I think it's slightly different. Um, but the smock isn't bad. Uh, but then, like, what are you gonna do? Like, you're, like, who are you gonna make it for? Oh, sorry. There's also I, I. Put it in one of like my winter christmas knitting plan books no books youtube videos um there is a smock glut like sock no smock mitten pattern and a smock like um teapot holder pattern which are also um sorry um yeah this oh my gosh i'm everywhere uh yeah if you look that up on ravelry you can probably find some if you want something for yourself okay thank you thank you goodness i said that um melissa hi everyone it's been a while since i've seen a stream so excited thank you for being here uh no i completely agree with the slipover i've been looking for a simple baby slipover for about a month as a cute little gift knit and there's yeah nowhere to be found i was like because petite knit does have like um i guess like i really like the sill slipover um or like the Moby, I don't think she did. She didn't do a Ingrid slipover, did she? No, but those ones are kind of like, maybe not specifically for baby. They're more for like toddler and they're like very intricate. Like I kind of just want like a really basic. Cause you know, you know like babies have like those long like cloth cotton onesies, like long sleeve. I feel like just putting a little slipover would be hella cute. Or like, I don't know. I have to think about it. Um, uh, 
you said Texas like a true Tex <laughs> Texan. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I just heard someone say that before, and I thought it was funny. Uh, okay, don't judge me. What the hell does smock mean? It's just a different type of stitch pattern. It's like the crosses. Uh, it's like when you have a. Uh, just just the jenny jacket the jenny collections um oh but what does smock actually mean no idea um my cousin-in-law is prego so i wanted it baby something i see okay uh you could probably just make a baby size sweater on with the sleeves now uh, i guess you know But I want to make my own pattern. <laughs> but I do think um, I haven't seen a lot of, like, for example, you can't do that. Like, I don't think it would look good if you did it, like, you know, like the melange sweater. Like, I don't think you could do that to make a slipover, the one that I want. But you could probably make it for that type of slipover. I don't know. I'm kind of on, kind of everywhere at the moment. Mm, Pitching Knit also has a classic smocking uh, cardigan, which is like the Jenny jacket, but just no smock on the sleeves. Ah, I've seen that one. Yes. Uh, I'm gearing up to make a few baby knits for a friend of mine that's prego. I'm obsessed with baby knits right now. Okay, glad I wasn't the only one. Um, I remember someone suggested I make like little booties for one of the um, Patreon downloads. So maybe... If I can gather up the courage to even figure out how to make that, that would be funny. <laughs> but I do want to make baby knits. That'd be so fun. Because they're so small. I love working with three millimeters. So, the dream. Uh, OMG, I got the interchangeable needle sets. I really wanted to, I really wanted today as a present and I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh. I love, I love that you guys treat yourselves. That's so sweet. I need to treat myself more often. I've been like tricking myself into being like telling myself like, oh, you don't de deserve this yarn. And it probably sounds like a little harsh, but it's the only way I can be like, okay, yeah, Tiffany, like you shouldn't treat yourself. Because I feel like I treat myself all the time. Like if you guys have seen um, the Parks and Rec, like treat yourself. That was me for a good moment. Um, but I think we have to get back into that era. <laughs> Finally cut a live stream live. Maybe this is a sign to finish knitting and binding off my socks. Yes, do it. I still have my Linnea, Linnea socks. They're still just crying along because I really need to make some tabby socks. I bought some fake, uh, I bought some fake tabby shoes uh, and I'm really hoping I like them because if I do, then I might buy like a, like the, the really nice one. Um, so I need some tabby socks for them. And they're so quick to make. The baby stuff? Please stop. <laughs> I know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll look at some little baby things. We'll see. What I'm feeling. Treat yourself. Day is iconic. It truly is. But then, like, I started it, like, it wasn't just a day at that point. It was like, oh, okay, we're treating ourselves, like, whenever I see something I want. Um, I literally need to stop treating myself. It's no longer a treat, just a lifestyle. But I, like, kind of am into it. I'm into, like, just treating myself to things. Because it's like, life is so short. Let me just enjoy my life right now. <laughs> Treat yourself day is the one day a year where I get to be selfish. No, Jerry, those cupcakes are all mine. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Which tabbies do you have your eye on? Stop. Like, literally all of them. If I could have, like, a full collection, I would. Um, I want the ballerina flats, but with the heel. I want the booties with a little heel. Um, and then I wanted, I want 
wanted the Mary Jane ones because, oh my gosh, stop. And then kind of wanted one, like the Oxfords or like the loafer one. And then I was kind of into, there's like this one that has like, it's like a heel and then it has like, like a little, like a, it's like a ballet, like think the ballet, like think of a heel and like there's a little strap around the ankle. I don't know. Anyway, I dream about them all the time. I dream about all the shoes. I dream about being that type of girl. Um, yet another downside to mohair. For some reason, it always finds itself in my mouth. Me. You really can't do anything. Can't have lip gloss. I love lip gloss, but it's like in my mouth constantly. <laughs> um, I would treat myself if I have any money, girly. Did you decide if you were going to buy the 52 we weeks of socks number two? Well, I like literally was, oh, the sling black. Yes, yes. The sling blacks I also love. And then I also, like, there's another one. There's another one that I've also, obviously I can't have them all. But like the dream. But also, also I've heard that they're all, all perfect. Oh my gosh, thank you for um, having the same love I have for tabbies. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, can't have them all, which is devastating. Um, for the 52 weeks of socks though, uh, also, just gonna say it at the, I guess, later end of the show, because I don't know how many people of you are still watching, but if you're from Canada, the 52 Weeks of Easy Knits is on sale on Amazon, so if you've been eyeing it, go get her. Go get her now, because uh, it's the soft, the soft, the paperback. I've been, I've been thinking about getting it for the reviews. If you think I should get it, please let me know. I just need one, just need one voice, and I'll probably do it. Um... For the 52 Weeks of Socks Volume 2, I'll probably buy the paperback version when it comes out. I will not buy the hardcover because all of my 52 Weeks are soft covers and I am unwilling to mix. Um, I cannot knit without looking at the stitch. I wish I could. I mean, it's all muscle memory and you just have to slowly kind of force yourself into it. Like maybe try watching something like a TV show. Try to do it. Um, part one, I had a bad spending problem with makeup back in university and this one YouTuber completely changed my perspective. She said, it's been my dream to go to Greece, but I've never been able to afford it. Instead of getting to do that, I have a drawer full of blushes that look the same. <laughs> True. I, I, I mean, I think everybody within like, if you were alive for the YouTube phenomena of like, the YouTube makeup influencer era, like they were just influencing everybody to just buy like different like makeup. And like, I get it. Like, how could you not want it? I mean, it's kind of with yarn, right? Like when I talk about it, it's like you want everything I talk about it, but obviously like don't, don't spend like too much money to the point where you're not able to have like meaningful memories that you might want um you know obviously like treat yourself with reason <laughs> um but i get that like i have so much just like random mascaras like i'm like a mascara hoarder but then i don't use them because they will expire and get all clumpy and just like dry and i think to myself like why am i buying all these mascaras um but also i wouldn't say that like it's depreciating my bank account to the point that I can't buy a plane ticket then that's 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 quite a bit yes um so I made my first project with mohair a while ago and I'm in the process of figuring out if I actually like it or not I mean I think we all go through that sometimes unfortunately um are you going to oh are you going to go on an essence window shopping sesh for tabbies they don't have an essence here do they no. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Um, I window shop on their app all the time. Don't you dare. Um, no. Is Essence only online? Wait, Essence Vancouver? There's no way. Yeah, no. It must be an online store only. Um, 
but yeah, I dream about them. But I've seen a TikTok where someone said that the bottoms are really like, like um smooth. So if you walk on anything slippery, you'll just like fall immediately. Um. Oh, are we going to have an Essence window shopping? No, we shouldn't. Don't oh, know. I'll just cry. Okay, where am I? I bought some loafers this weekend and I still want to knit a slipover now. Go for it. <laughs> I wanted to have a fuzzy cardigan and I made it, but I feel like I'm lying to myself into liking it. Hmm. Like, what about it don't you like? The fuzziness, the color, the fit? Because sometimes you can like change the fit with blocking. Uh, I looked at the patterns for easiness, but I wasn't too excited by it personally. Neither was I. But I am tempted to get it because it's on sale. Tiffany, stop. Um, I only buy sample sizes of mascaras for that reason. I, I, I now know in my heart that I should only really have two mascaras at one time. That is all I need. So the plan is, is to buy, just have like two full size. That's it. That's all I need. I like trying the travel sizes, but I found that I ended up buying too many travel sizes. It was like when Sephora had their um, travel size. Like, you know, there's Sephora favorites. That's what gets me. Um, you only need one mascara. No, you never know. What happens if I have to travel? I'm not going to bring my only mascara to travel. You know what I mean? Or like, I need a mascara at my boyfriend's place. I just need a couple. No, but I have more than a couple, which is so scary. Um, I, have so, I have so many foundations. It's so funny. Um, it's like like a hundred dollar treat is fine. I won't think too much about it, but a 2000 plane ticket is a big purchase, but the little treat myself at, uh, oh, I see. I, yeah, I, I do feel that. Yeah, when I buy something that's like maybe under 200, I'm like, I can I can afford this. <laughs> uh, as a man who does not wear makeup, I never understood why my makeup wearing friends had so many products that seemed to do the same thing. Now that I knit and hoard yarn, I get it. <laughs> I know, it's like this weird, just someone tell me the scientific reason behind this other than like, liking to collect things. I should really measure how much I've knitted. It feels like I've made a lot. The fuzziness. The fuzziness isn't what you like. Okay, then that's a toughie. Um, maybe give it to a significant other. Maybe give it to a friend, a family. Um, I don't, like, you can't really get rid of that fuzziness, unfortunately. Um, you can take some scissors and scrape the bottom of the shoes a little. Oh my gosh. I was thinking of adding, there's a lot of, like, stick-on, like, grip bottom things for the shoes. I, mean, I was thinking maybe do that if I actually get a real pair. Um, TBH, anytime I've ever finished a project and I'm not happy with it, I've unraveled it. Oh, I made something else. Not once have I regretted doing that. Okay, yeah, you can totally do that. That's also recommended. Uh, the mohair will be a little tr tricky to get off, but I mean, if you really don't like it, yeah, definitely recommend. I adore, I adore the, uh, I adore the pattern, just the mohair. Ugh, that hurts me. Yeah, I would say... If you have that gut feeling that you know you're never really gonna wear it, I, yeah, I would definitely recommend unraveling it. Maybe you could take the mohair out and just knit it just by itself. Uh, yes, it's a pain, but you know, I think the point of knitting is really the product. So. Uh, I'm making curry for dinner, don't, and I don't get to eat for two more hours and I'm so hungry. Oh no. Eat some snacks, please. <laughs> uh, I only have one. Oh, the better than... I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, but yes, that one is a good one. I do like that one. 
That's like me with lip balms. I have a car one, travel one, bag one, and a nightstand one. Smart. Um. I think it's all the possibilities. If you don't get that item, you don't get any of the things you could do with it. Ah, uh, it's just like the potential. <laughs> Uh, wow, you knit so fast. Thank you. I don't even know if that's a compliment. It's just like a statement. <laughs> um, but I think it's just the fingering and it's just talking and that's really it. Uh, any advice for a sweater that got bigger after blocking? I love the fit before I blocked it, but now it's a bit oversized. I know you can, you can shrink it a little bit in the dryer is what I've heard. I've never done it before though. So be like, do with caution. Oh, but it took so long to knit. Oh, I know. I feel that pain. I think, oh, I don't know. It depends on how far you are. If you're like at the end, maybe just finish it. You don't like it. Oh, you know what? Okay. If you're close to the end, I would finish it, but don't do an Italian bind off. Do a very basic classic bind off uh, so that you can unravel it easy in the future. And just kind of like, maybe don't wash it. Maybe just like wear it out a little bit. Be like, okay, am I really into this mohair or not? If you're not, unravel, unravel it uh, or give it to someone. I think it's absolutely fine. Or maybe you end up liking it. It's finished and on the body right now, okay. Yeah, I would say do what I just said. Um, Cause then at least you can like wear it and be like, okay, maybe you can finesse the mohair. Maybe you can like, like if you don't like the feeling on you, you can wear like, try it with long sleeves or if you can handle it or see yourself in like the mirror. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you're like basically finished, I would say give it a feel or two. Um, I saw someone freeze their knits with mohair before they unraveled it. Yes, I've also heard that that is a tip to make it easier to unravel. Uh, how would you rate the knitting for all of pure silk? I just got it, but now I am hearing all these bad reviews. I really liked it. I don't know who's reviewing it. Um, I think maybe it hurt a little bit, maybe. Like, maybe a little rough, but that's kind of what you get with something that's a pure silk. Uh, Cause I've knit something with pure silk before that was not meant for knitting. It was like meant for weaving and that hurt like a bejesus. Um, I really like it on a scale. I mean, it's hard because there's not a lot to compare to. I don't think that there's a lot of just like pure silk stuff out there. Uh, did you start with continental? I switched over from English. Um, but that first big piece after switching is pain. Yes you will have to struggle through, but it's so worth it. I wonder if I have even videos of me just still doing English. Um, I'm so confused, I changed the length of my egg meat. Do I keep the ribbing the same length or change it? Uh, I would, I think you keep the ribbing the same. I don't think the ribbing changes. Uh, love, pure silk, yeah, same, same. Not super wash me will work up the courage to put in the dryer. Oh, right. Sorry. I should have specified if it wasn't super wash, super wash. You cannot, um, I guess felt it. Uh, I felt the same with my fuzzy cardigan at first, but I've come around uh, to it now all the time. If it's already done, maybe just finish it and give it a go. Yeah. I've been done with it. Worn it around a, co oh, a couple weeks. I just don't think I have the will to redo it at this point. I may give it to a family member, I guess. Ooh, tough, 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 yeah. Or, this is totally messed up, but you could make it more fuzzy. Like if the fuzziness, you need it, you want more fuzzy, you could also like comb through it and make it fuzzier. <laughs> uh, I think giving it away is the right, yeah. Right move, yeah, for sure. I'm just nervous because I heard that it pilled really bad. I'm, mine's good. Mine's pretty good. I'd say they're mohair pills though, for sure. How much would you say cotton grows after blocking? Definitely more. I feel like it's more than a merino or like a wool. Maybe similar to alpaca. 
Hmm? No, I'm on. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm working. What's up? Okay. Okay, we're gonna stop a little bit, and I'm gonna just drink some water because I don't think I've taken a break. So that's funny. Let's go to Maine. Maybe we can online shop. I knitted a tank in knitting for Olive in 2021. I wear it a lot and have had no pilling. The straps stretch quite a bit, but I unpicked them to shorten. Um, someone might really appreciate your work. Oh, for the egg neat. Yes, man. I wish I knew what you were saying. Do you have a previous message? Uh, how much does mohair affect gauge? I want to knit a sweater. Um, that uses DK with mohair and just DK. Should I go up a size? Um, mm, mentally trying to think. I think, oh yes, I was talking about the length of my acne. Did not show <laughs> Okay. Um, I want to say... Well, don't knit something that has a DK and mohair, but you just want to knit it with DK yarn. I mean, obviously knit a gauge swatch just to be sure. But, uh, I think it would be okay. I think it's not as noticeable, for example, if you were to doing, if you were doing a fingering weight with a mohair, like that one for sure makes it a DK. Versus like a DK weight, DK weight and a mohair probably does make like a worsted or an Aran weight. Uh, to be sure, I would just do, I would just do a gauge swatch. Maybe you, like, you might just have to go up like half a needle size. Uh, Grandma Bliss, yeah, she still doesn't understand that we stream, but it's fine. My big shadow band. Um, oh, if you sort all the messages. Oh, that's so weird. Um, I will probably give it away and make the pattern again with a different yarn a while from now. I just need a break. Oh, for sure. That is devastating. Because um, I've, I've had that a lot. You're just like knitting something and you just like know you're not going to like it. And then you finish it and then you try it on. You're like, oh my gosh. Usually what I do, I'll just unravel it. But I, I'll I'll keep it to like the side. I'll like throw it kind of far away, just never to be seen again. And then finally when I get the courage, I'll frog it. Or it's in the pile of yarns. Or no, it's in the pile of like, I have like a basket of just, of like finished pieces that I know I'll never have. And so I'll give those to anyone who wants it. Um... The thicker the base yarn is, the less impact mohair has, in my opinion. Yes. So, like, for example, like, the holiday sweater. Um, I think it's, like, a really chunky. I would say it's maybe a bulky weight. Right? I think it's bulkier than Aaron. And it calls, or one of the suggestions is two mohairs. Because you just, if you do one mohair, you can barely tell. Mm, I will not be knitting a cardigan for a while. Why does it take so much longer than a sweater? You have to knit the back side. Knitting in the round is like so nice. That's why people do the, like you knit a sweater and then you cut, you steak it. Okay. I just, looking at this, it just feels like I didn't get any progress. So that's hilarious. Um, but I will just measure it. I was at like 40 and I need to get to 49. Okay. Guess how much I got through guys. Two centimeters. <laughs> I only did two centimeters in that like hour. Um, yeah, knits I like live in my shame bin until I'm emotionally ready to deal with them again. Same. Um, it's funny because someone in my family begged me to make them the same thing. Hopefully it'll fit her. Oh, that's actually really cool. 
like like a cool coincidence uh i had that with my chestnut sweater i was making back in november it was way too big at the time and i was half done so i threw it in my corner um five months later i actually like it nice love sticking it's so cathartic okay Hello, just catching the stream now as my family's been over for my birthday tomorrow. Oh my gosh, happy early birthday. Woo woo. Growing older is so fun. Yeah, my first time to your live. Love your videos. I always watch while I knit. Oh, thank you. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos recently, but I do hope that the streams kind of feel fill that void. Um. Hey, Tiff kind of bummed because me and my friends applied for an apartment we loved and it got snatched up. So now we were just, no, so now desperately searching for another option. Gonna cheer myself up by knitting. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do think um, the, the apartment hunting right now seems really difficult. And that's wild. Um, putting down my Agnet cardigan to finish the barn ham and now i can't find the motivation go to go back to the agni brioche takes forever i feel that i feel that that's why that's why i'm also trying to do anything besides um bag neat to kind of do stuff but i i know we'll keep going sorry <laughs> just fully yawned mm. Thinking about adding short rows to the sleeves on my sweater, but the stitch pattern is a four row repeat, so I'm a little nervy about how it'll work out. Gonna try anyways, though. If it is, then I would just short row like every four. I feel like that would make sense, no? Um, TV says streams are my fave. Streams are my fave too. Oh my gosh. Very sweet, thank you. Uh, I have the 52 weeks of easy knits. I will say that you can look at the patterns in the book to see if the patterns peak interest, like how you did for the second books. Second book of the 52 weeks of socks, yeah. I did look through them and nothing really sparked joy. So I don't think it's smart, but I do think it'd be just nice to have, I guess for reference, if I were to like, want to make my own knitting book. But I think it's like, okay, don't, you don't have to tell me anything, but is it, um, oh, but then I don't know if you have the 52 weeks of socks. Is it formatted the same, like the writing of all the patterns and stuff? Like, like is the look of it the same? Cause I know the crochet crush book looks different, um, because I guess it's a different designer versus like the 52 weeks. Uh, apartment hunting is such a pain. I only got mine cause my mom works at the rental company. Yeah, like it's so gross. Like everything you need, either like you have to be, you have to have like an inside like connection. I guess that's it. <laughs> um, it's really similar. Okay. Streams are my fave too, but I'm a sucker for anything creative crafting related content. I know I do need to make more. It's just so fun and easy, these streams, because you guys actually get to knit with me and I get to chat with you guys. Uh, I go by short rows every inch, so however many stitches equals an inch, then turn. Mm, that's smart. My library has 52 weeks of socks. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Like also, okay. I was thinking like t maybe I should get the 52 weeks of easy knits because it's like what happens if I have like my own knitting studio or something and I have I hold classes or like people come um people come to knit if I had a cafe or something it's like you know what happens if we have like a little library of books that you can like not necessarily like take but you can look through I don't know that was my only justification for getting that book but I don't think that's a good enough justification um, I'm glad the streams get more views on YouTube. <laughs> I hope that makes them more worth worthwhile for you too. Yeah, I definitely make more money just from these streams compared to Twitch. Like Twitch is so bad um, for, sorry, there's a knot in this. I will have to get, um, but yeah, Twitch is so bad. I think it's just not the bestest platform. And we enjoy YouTube. 
be enjoying YouTube a lot. And it's nice, like, we've actually done so many streams and it's it's kind of funny going through like my lives, like, cause like there's a little category of lives and it's like kind of creating like this like database and I think it's fun. And then they stay there. It's my only thing that I love. Um, the streams are the best. I'm sure it'll go on sale again soon. You don't have to think so far ahead, but TBH, I'm like the same. <laughs> yeah, like me thinking so far ahead, like, come on, Tiffany. Um, but yeah, I think, I think sales are, they just, they get, they know, they know I like that, that urgency. Um, Twitch scares me, same. Uh, for your grand opening of your studio, ask someone to gift you knitting books. <laughs> That'd be cute. That'd be really cute. Love the streams because I don't have any knitting friends, so it's lovely being here. Mm. Don't have any of the 52 Weeks of Socks books, but I would deduce it's the same because it's lame publishing. I also have Crochet Crush and I want to make all the small bags. Um, yeah, but the Crochet Crush book is a little, it's like written a little bit differently and like the format is slightly different. The streams are like the typical Bliss lore database. <laughs> Truly. It's hard. Yeah, like, I feel like we talk about very specific things on the stream, so it's like, you really do need to know what's up, which is really hard. Very niche. Okay. Do we continue knitting? I don't know. I don't know. I need, how many do I need? I need seven centimeters. That's so many centimeters. Oh, sorry. I had like had, I have like the worst sleeping schedule right now. Cause I've just been playing like Breath of the Wild and it's like not good for me in the Marvel universe. Okay, sorry. We will talk about Witter because I want to get everyone's opinions on it and whether I should buy the book. So please help me. <laughs> so she just came out with the English version. It's available on Amazon. I literally promote everyone and no one pays me anything. It's, it's fine. I don't expect to be paid, but the amount of advertising I do for everyone is redonkulous. Um... But yeah, like, I wish I knew, like, I can't tell whether the patterns are the same as her previous book, this one, or if it's different. Someone help me, please. Um, okay, where am I? Um, I also bought the 52 weeks of socks because it was on sale, but I've not made anything. Getting socks to fit is so hard. Do you see the trailer for the new game? Yes, yes, yes. We've also seen the playthrough of it sorry i need to see i need to see the front of the book because i want to see if it's the same name strict med knit something it's in danish but like does this also have 30 patterns like i don't know if this is the same as the other book someone help me um i was watching beautiful boy before the stream so happy you got me out of that mindset oh my gosh scary uh, I do want to watch that movie though. Uh, Breath of the Wild is time consuming for sure. Bought it over the break and it's so stressful, but I love it. I so stress all the time. My heart beats constantly. Uh, when I first started watching your streams like a year ago, I was so lost because I haven't even started knitting garments and had no idea who Petite Knit was. Uh, we were almost done with the game. Lucky. I, I'm only done one. I'm only done one beast. Um. My boyfriend has been really into that game too. Love. Can y'all, like, I'm not gonna buy Tears of the Kingdom yet. So, can everyone buy it first and tell me how it is? Um, not gonna lie, I literally saw that cover and wanted it already. I just don't know, like, what patterns. To, I need to see. I don't know. Is it the same? Because I wrote them down on my book. I don't know if they're the same. See? 
Why do you have this book? Oh, she made a pattern. Oh, that's why she has this book. <laughs> um, I rediscovered Witter's Bernie sweater last night. It's such a cute pattern. Like, she doesn't have... I think it's this pattern. I couldn't find it in the book. The Charles sweater. I couldn't find it in the list. Okay, wait. I would show my book. Like, I want to... I would show Amazon to show you what is in there. But then it shows me... It shows uh, my uh, postal code, and that's not okay. Um, I risk, uh, I'm in love with the Arctic Knitting book by Annika, but shipping is like 15 euros. I can't justify. I feel lucky to have been here for most of the lore. I can't believe it's been two years. I know we have been on here like ridiculously long, and I still can't believe people are watching me. It's so like funny, uh, but it's so nice, and I'm... I will always be thankful for the support because I can still keep doing this. Um, what if you open Amazon in incognito tab? Okay, wait. Let me go back here. How do we do incognito? I'm like such a... I'm such a... I was going to say millennial, but I guess it would more be uh, the other one. The baby boomer. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Command Shift N on Safari. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Command Command Shift N. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, let's go on Amazon and see what happens. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Give me a second. I'm. I'll probably have to change. Um. Give me a second. Give me a second. But we can do it. Thank you. Okay. If this didn't work, then people who are watching this later, this will be cut. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. It's just on It's on top of my previous page, but it works. Okay. Uh, Witter. Witter design. God damn it. Okay. It is... Um, shoot, what is it called? It is... Her book is called... A Knitter's Year. Okay. Which is funny because there's a book called The Knitter's Year. Um, uh, yes. So yeah, I thought we th okay. Just checking. No information of me is on here. Thank the goodness gracious. Thank you. Um, who told me that? F yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you usually knit patterns once or do you ever repeat? Usually only once. I pre-ordered. Uh, oh, I'll let you know. Okay. Yes. Please, Susie, let me know. Does every photo included in the book have a pattern written in it? Maybe we can count it. Um, everyone is releasing a knitting book. I know, and I'm jealous, and I need to get on that level. Thank you, everyone. Please help me um, if you are a um, distributor. No, if you're a publisher. Oh, I miss Lilac Gray from the Twitch streams, though. Where are you at, girl? Lilac Gray? I don't know what that is. Is that Lord that I don't even know? Okay, so okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't tell. I can't tell. I'm gonna have to uh, wait. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. There was a page that showed every single one that showed all of the um, maybe it was here. No! Oh my gosh, where was it? It showed every single name of the patterns, and now I'm upset that I can't see it. Lilac gray, yes. Dude, am I, like, forgetting something? I'm so sorry. Um... Oh, oh my gosh, the person. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I'm glad that you guys found each other. Oh my god, it was a person. Oh my gosh. That took me too long to figure out. That's so funny. Um, I knitted two tops from her patterns. I find them hard to understand. That is what I've also heard someone said that they don't like how her patterns are written. And I want... I want to do a review. <laughs> um, but yeah... I uh, just want to show the 52 weeks. Oh, easy. 
I just, it's just so pretty. Like, tell me this isn't like the prettiest book. Like, should I just buy her? Um, but then I just don't like the patterns. I don't know. I'm in such a weird dilemma. It's so silly. But like, wouldn't that be such a combo? Oh, and then I was like tempted by this book too. But then it's like, Tiffany, don't buy it. Like, what are you even doing? Like, I, like, stop. Like, but this, oh, the collection. Oh, someone needs to stop me from wanting collections is all I can say. Um, there's a table of contents on the patterns on the shirt press website if you Google a knitter's year. Okay, give me a second. Where do I go? Okay. No, because I knew there was a picture of all the names, but the names don't match up with her other book. So I'm like kind of confused, but it has to be the same. There's no way she would have rewritten a new book. Um, Okay, yeah, 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 it was kind of like this, uh, where it had like the names. So like, I, like, like I'm upsetty spaghetti because it doesn't say uh, the Charles sweater. And that's the one I really wanted. Like, I just feel like she changed like a whole bunch of the names. So I'm like kind of confused. Um, like thick winter sweater. Like, what does that mean? Urban sweater, warm winter scarf, urban sweater for children. Permafrost sweater, chunky knit sweater, chunky sweater, urban sweater for man, turtleneck sweater. You know what I you know what I mean? Um I'm sitting patiently for the Nanny for All book. Me too. I haven't gotten like any new notification about that, and I'm so worried. <laughs> um Oh, look through publications. Like if you go, if you go to Witter, shoot, okay, let's go here. If you go to Witter Design, uh, get the 52 weeks of easy knits and write it off as a work expense. I know, but like, I don't wanna like waste that money and just like buy a book, you know? I don't know. Um, shop? Book? Oh, she's another book. See, maybe it's this book. A oh, yeah, 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 a knitter's year. I know, I know, I know this. I know I can speak Danish. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's this book. So the patterns are different from the patterns in this book because this is knit. I wanna say it's knit with Witter Design. I think that makes the most sense. Um, I think the publication date for the Knitting for All book was pushed back. Don't you dare tell that to me right now. Okay. Okay. Hardcover, only shipped inside Norway, only in Norwegian. Thank you. Okay, so. Okay, so let's look at, let's look, okay. Let's look at what she has here. Okay. So I think a lot of these patterns are available online too. Wait, did she name one of the patterns tube top? I, I think like her pattern names are so small, <laughs> like they're just basic. I don't understand. Um, so these must be the patterns. Okay, okay. Then what do I do? Will I buy? I don't know. I kind of want to just buy because I love, I like collecting knitting books now. Uh, wait, um, do you have recommendations for a worsted weight Noral Cardi sweater? I have all this yarn and no pattern. Coming out with pattern. Um, Aaron wait. Oh gosh, me thinking so hard right now. You could probably do petite knits like novice chunkies, like anything like the chunky stuff like that with a mohair would be really nice. Um Yeah, like you could do the novice novice cardigan chunky, novice sweater chunky. Uh Aaron, Aaron wait, Aaron wait. Anything that's a five. You could probably do the Wednesday sweaters, so it's really nice. I started the tabby gloves, but they're too big. Gonna finesse it though. No. Did you like get gauge and everything? Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Kind of reminds me of the zipper sweater, though. I don't know if I want this book. Oh, no. I wanted the other book. Oh, yeah. I just have small hands. You can probably just, like, decrease it a couple stitches. Um, I mean, I tried my best because... I made sure that all the measurements were up to like a certain point of your finger so like um it wasn't based off of like my finger like you shouldn't be measuring based off of the amount i said it should just be based off of how much is left over on your finger um i think it'll be easy to modify though yeah yeah yeah. i also think it's easy to modify so no worries was that a season sweater cardigan is worsted i think is nice oh yeah 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 was that a um okay well I don't know. I don't think I'm in love with any of these. Maybe just that top is all right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're kind of iffy about this now. Ooh, I like the song. Does anyone know how to search Ravelry based on yarn weight? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll help you out, girl. Okay. What are we looking for? Um... Okay, let's say sweater. Let's say we're looking for an Aaron sweater. Knitting. Bless. Oh. Which one do we want? Aaron. We also want, where's it? Oh my God, me there. That's funny. Um, trying to figure it out last night, couldn't, but I feel like it's definitely possible. Yeah, no, it's right here, girl. I'm assuming you can drag this up. Oh, that's cool. You can drag it up so it's like at the top. I'm so lazy. I've never seen Ravelry in light mode. I just can't do dark mode. It's too dark for me. I'm so sorry. Uh, can I change it? Oh my God. Trippy, the white just trips me out, but we'll do it. Um, okay, and then, oh, what I really like to do, okay. The person who said that you have a bunch of Noro. Okay, what is some Aaron Waite Noro that we have? Okay, let's do Viola. She's kind of um, bulky, but we'll do her anyway. Viola, Viola Noro. You just go here. You go to pattern ideas. And oh, look at all these ideas, guys. Okay, there's not a lot. That was not that was not good at all. Um, or you can do you can do it the other way around. Um, what else do I like doing? I also like to go to petite knit pieces. So like say the novice cardigan chunky. Cause like, it's really nice to use her as an example because so many people do her projects. You just go to yarn ideas and you can kind of gauge what kind of like bases everyone's using. So then you can kind of gauge to see like what yarn you're using and if that is doable. So, like air, right? Air is Aaron Waite, amazing. And then you can see all the projects people made with it. And I love, oh, Ravelry is so good. Mm, I have something for all of pure silk. I was thinking about making the square T by Arohi Pelkar, but now I kind of want to make an anchor T. Okay, well, I'm glad you found me here on Ravelry, because now I can look it up. Okay, she is by Arohi. Arohi. Oh no, I can't find you, Arohi. Okay, then I should look up Arohi. <laughs> Definitely saying it wrong. Arohi. Palcar. Found you, girl. There you go. I'm a detective. <laughs> Uh, Wednesday sweater for Noro. I want that really bad, but waiting for the right yarn. Mm, that's me. I've been trying to find the right yarn. It's not working. Okay. Mm, I think I would like this top if the sleeves were longer. I don't know why I'm not in love with how short these sleeves are. Um, but it is a nice one. Eight bucks, $11. A little bit more expensive than the anchor tee. I love the anchor tee though. Oh my gosh. Petite knit. Oh. I feel like I always make the most random yarn choices and end up yoloing with gauge. Um. Oh. Oh, the anchor D. 
tea is just so good. Just so good. Oh, I love a good pail. Oh, I'm so excited to finish mine. If you can't tell. Um. Hey, am I late? How are y'all? Oh, it's already three. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. Okay, I guess we're we gotta end it soon. Oh my gosh. The new petite knit top is so cute too. I know. I'm so excited for the bobby tee. Don't don't get me started. Um But yes, thank you guys so much for coming. I'm so sorry, Michelle. Um we are gonna end the stream. Uh but yes. Thursday, we're gonna knit that knee. I'm gonna have no progress, but that's fine. You guys can catch up with me. Um, but yes, oh no, Joyce, yes, you are late. I'm so sorry. Um, there is a Patreon knit night on the Thursday, so that's great. Have a re great rest of your day, night, afternoon, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.